Thank you. Let's go way up this end. Good morning and good morning to Poland, which I now know is ten ten forty three AM. I have decided to get off at Hitchin again. Oh, there's a man driving the train and he's sitting in the back. I didn't expect to see that. <laughs> yeah, there's a man sitting in the train. So yeah, I thought I'd um, come to Hitchin. I think I've sorted out my, go my stick a bit better now. Who is up for me blowing up some balloons today at the railway station? Hmm, not sure I can do that. I could hide round the corner here, look, right over here. Do you want to see the mess at this station? Oh, well, everybody has left the building. I'm not sure that's so exciting if everyone's gone. <laughs> Morning. Of? Oh, right, sorry. <laughs> I wondered, I thought, am I doing anything wrong? <laughs> There's a big sign that I didn't see, look. Do not pass. Well, they can't read that anyway, so it's in mirror writing on my phone. <laughs> it's Pennywise here this morning. Is anyone from Poland here this morning? I'll just do some streaming at Steve Nish, but the internet's not very good in Steve Nish. Oh, we can watch the trains. You love the trains. Look, there you go. Trains going up a big hill. Whoa. No, it's not. It's just me wobbling the camera. I haven't seen many of those, um, what's called black trains that go past. Many years ago, the um, commuters were fed up with how bad the trains were and they just bought their own train service because if there was any delays, they would get paid. But I think nowadays, you kind of automatically get compensated if your trains are late. You should hang around anyway, because look, I have got purple that was a bit quick purple orange and red got a nice red balloon as well today so yeah this is literally for you lot just to chat to me so if there's no typing going on then there's not a lot of talking of any sense if you're down the other end of this platform the ambience of the platform, how peaceful and quiet everybody is. And then the tannoy comes up. Right, let's have a look. That was the train I was talking about. Not that I'm a train buff. But yeah, that's the one that the, um, I don't know who owns it now, but they're really old and manky and sort of. So where are we going again? I think we're getting a London King's Cross train. So what would you like to look at? What would you like to talk about? If you're a train enthusiast, you could just watch the trains coming into the station. If there's no old chat, 
You got you got to use your fingers here because I can't actually hear you today. So if you don't talk to me. pretty sure that that jerkiness is to do with the image stabilization because you can see when I do that I'm not sure how to turn that off yeah the image stabilization on this camera is I'm not happy with it mm. all stations to Peterborough Oh, live chat. Live chat means I can chat live to you, but I get kind of bored of that. Whereas if you write something down in the chat, then I can respond. And you know Tango Baldy, he can talk about anything for hours and hours, like now. Seven minutes of talking about not a lot. <laughs> and we can watch this beautiful train take off. There you go. Another exciting episode of the Tango Baldy Show. Are you wanting balloons? I have a one thumb up. I now have another new set for my YouTube videos. Um, I've not really done any in the house at the moment because the house is in such a mess. But I will be... I've got two more bits of furniture... No, four pieces of furniture yesterday and I've removed that giant wardrobe which is red. You might have seen that with the curtains hanging on it. And I've got four display units from a shop um, but the problem is all the stuff that was inside that giant wardrobe is now all over the studio, so you can't, I don't know, I'm gonna, I've got someone coming round to do videos tonight. So I'm not going to be back from Hatfield to like half past six, so it's going to be a late night tonight. But I should think it's going to be fun and exciting. Let's watch one of the old Virgin trains. <laughs> I guess if you're not in the UK, that's an exciting thing to watch. <laughs> For me, it's just another train. Oh, who wants to look at a mirror? I've, you know, I've been how many times I've been a hitching and never seen this. Look at that for a mirror. Should we see if I can? I can't even get on that. That is huge. There you go. Get a nice view of the whole platform from that. I don't know who would look in it. Who's going to look in that? Would it be... I said, oh, if you're sitting in the train. This end of the platform is for the people that like to pay silly amounts for their fares. Um, first class quality. I wonder if Mr Rubik's is coming back in, the one that spanned my channel the other day. Apparently he's, he wants me to move to India and marry him. Hmm. I would hardly think that all that spamming chat was a good chat up line. This looks like it was the new, a new bit of platform. Definitely not built like the old platforms. It does not feel like it's going to last forever. <laughs> yeah, so if you want to pay two to three times the cost of your normal travel and be late as everyone else and sit on the, the same hard seats, then this is where you come to pay, come and sit. And, it, and obviously you would also put your car, can we see that? It's a bit nauseous. 
over the back there and pay silly amounts of money to park your car as well. I have two likes. Oh, there's hope for Tango Valdi. Orange balloon. I am going to blow up an orange balloon and play with it at the station. Are you ready for this? See if I can get this. This could get. There we go. Ah, put me on a tripod. Well, that's as far as it tilts back. So we blow them up about that big and tie them off. Uh, oh, I've got to say that name again. And it's so difficult for me. British guy, hi. <laughs> are you from, where are you from? I can't remember where, whether you told me where you were from yesterday. I'm trying to get it so it's a bit easier to see. It's a bit, Poland, that was it. I, was, I looked up the time in Poland today and I didn't realise you were like one hour ahead of us. So it must be because we put our clocks backward or forward. Hi, Polish girl. <laughs> I love Polish girls. I just can't speak Polish language. Very difficult. The Polish people have the same problems. And here we have a red balloon. Look at that one. <laughs> so we have a red one as well. Oh. We don't want... I am going to a small town called Hatfield to do, for the next at least two months, I'm doing English. Now, I can explain English to you. In the UK, you can speak English, but the, the more wealthy you are and the higher educated you are, the more you learn to speak proper English so that nobody else can understand what you're saying. And that gives you a benefit because whenever you've got anything to say, people have to employ a solicitor to decode what you've told them. So, yeah, it's pretty cool, that, isn't it? Oh, your English is fine. Trust me, you, you only need about 10 words to live in this country. Most of them are grunts. And you need to do, like, frowning and huffing. You're like, oh. Or look at the lovely weather we're having today. That's the kind of thing you need to learn for, to come and live in the UK. Yeah, you don't need to talk like these people. I mean, I, I'm 52 and I learned how to say, I learned what a, a hyperbole is yesterday. And you know, I've never needed it in my life. The stuff I'm learning in this English is amazing. But I'm never going to use it. Boons. Look, and they lovely. What is your accent? Well, one doesn't quite know what my accent is. It could be. I would, <laughs> I'm gonna walk down here a little bit because I'm really cold. I would say my accent is North London. So I'm not, you are right, mate? What's it going? How's it going, bruv? What's it like out here? You know what I mean? It's not quite, you know, apples and pears and, any of that stuff. So yeah, North London. No, North of London. Not North London. So I'm going to walk down. Let's put this so that you can actually see me again. I'll say, let me get a bit more, a bit longer. Oh yeah. Or to be true. To be true, you could learn and stand an Irish man. It's really hard. 
Yeah, they've got a beautiful accent, Irish. But yeah, <laughs> trust me, I, if they talk fast, I have a lot of trouble understanding them. Um, yeah, you can, I mean, England's quite a small place. I mean, it's just nothing more than a small island. And we're all crammed into the, you know, into small areas of the, of, of the country. But lots of places... What, what gets me is I as hang on. I think the thing with accents that makes me laugh is because of my age. Um, you have different um, ethnicities coming and living in the UK, and when they pick up British accents, you kind of before they speak you expect to hear them speaking in a certain way and then you know for example like a black person I would usually you know in the old days think you know they were there from Jamaica or Ghana or somewhere like that and you'd expect them to be talking in their accent you know from Africa or whatever wherever they've come from and then they talk with a posh English accent you're like whoa what's going on here so yeah, it's stereotypes. So it's, we're kind of just getting blended now. So you can't look at someone and go, "Oh, that's how they're going to talk." But, um, so I suppose you know, for example, a black person who lived in Birmingham is going to talk completely different now. Oh, hello, different than someone who lives up in Glasgow, for example. Yeah, and it's good, yeah, because English, I mean, it, it, just the way we speak and the words we use, they're, they, they're regional as well, you know. So, one, for example, getting off with somebody, when I was in the 90s, I actually thought that meant you were sleeping with somebody. And, and you know, you hear these girls, oh, I got off with three boys at a party. I'm like, whoa, you're disgusting, what's wrong with you? And then you think it's only a dance and maybe a kiss. <laughs> So, yeah, it can get you in a bit of trouble. Yeah, do you know what? English is, is spread over the whole world now, isn't it? And, and, and in, because of the, the way the English went round and just went destroying everyone else's countries and raping all of their um, supplies and exploiting all of the residents, you know, they, we just expect people to speak English wherever we go. Yeah, I like, I like Polish people. When, um, when I meet Polish people, I think they, they come across as, like, angry. <laughs> you know, you're like, listen to me, I've got something to say. That kind of... They don't say that, but it just, it's quite a commanding language, Polish. But, yeah, I like it. I go to the shop, uh, Valveski in Stevenage. And I talk to them like, and they're like, yes, yes, yes. And I know they don't know what I'm saying. And I don't know what they're saying, but I still get my food that I want to buy. So. so what about, oh, we were doing balloons. Yeah, I guess you do, so yeah. It's a shame, actually, that you can't hear, well, I don't know, <laughs> to be honest, hearing people when I'm streaming would be quite scary. I got like, if I had a lot of people in my channel watching at one time, and one day I had about 100 people, and they're all talking at the same time. <laughs> Oops. So that one's the purple. To pop you back on the floor again. I'm still trying to work out how to open this properly. Hang on. No, hang on. I want to do this without breaking my phone. There you go. You, you'll hear me moaning about any, everything. Yeah, so I'll just talk to myself. I'm used to that. <laughs> hang on.
on. Oh, this is mine. Hatfield. This is a bit wobbly. So yeah, we're gonna go on the train, leave this balloon on the train. Let's put that down, why am I doing that? Sorry about that, people. So yeah, let's get these together. Pretty much my favorite three colors, these. There we go. So these will go on the train. And here is my train. It's a bit shiny today, my head. <laughs> oh, let's leave the stand up. Where should I sit? Let's go in this doorway here. I have no passengers here. This is good. I like this. Apparently, it's so I'll, I'll stream for a little while in there, and then I'm going to go because I go through tunnels and things. Um, if people, I'm fine. You, you said you'll, you said you'll be right back. I don't know if you're back. What should I do with these? Just leave them over there in the parcel package. I think that's what I'll do. We'll leave them there. Like that. Give someone a bit of colour for their day. Thank you. I'd like to, I'd like to have a nice day as well. I'm going to do about seven hours studying today, so it's, it's very intense. I was doing uh, English writing, that was it. But I didn't have to write for it, or was it reading? I don't even remember what I was learning yesterday. I can, of course, show quickly before we go into a tunnel. Let's have a look at what I was learning yesterday. Um, yeah, we had awkward things to, for comprehension. It goes, um, read these sentences, and if this sentence that we've shown you, or the, which these sentences which we show you are not correct, click the box to say they're false. And you're, you're sitting there going, what? Because usually tick boxes say true. And um, let's have a look. Yeah, formal emails head organizational features similes alliteration hyperboles rhetoricals oh oh alliteration big brown balloons there we go that's an alliteration i'll do some skill test bias you know if if uh, news will be usually biased a lot of the time they say they're not but I pretty much find the news is bias, particularly even if it's just towards the own country. It's not very often you hear countries' news saying, oh, we, we did something wrong. Look at us as a terrible country. It's, it's always, you did this and you done that. We got sheep. Do you have sheep in Poland? I guess sheep are everywhere. Do you have sheep in India? Where's my Indian viewers? Come on, Mr. Indian viewers. Yep. Am I a teacher? Not a school teacher, no, but um, I hope to eventually be like a mentor, if that makes any sense, a mentor. I've oh, got my feet on the chair, more like. Um, a mentor. I'd like to work with like the prob probation service. Does that mean anything to you? I'd want to be a probation officer though. People are too disrespectful and not. Uh, there you go. 
so I'd, I'd rather work with um, people that are prior to needing the probation. So yeah, someone to guide people. I'm going to be doing a, quite a lot of work in the next few months. So for the next two months, I'm going to be doing training. So I'm not going to be able to do a lot of voluntary work because I'm at my only free day will be on a Wednesday. A Wednesday and a Friday. Now, Wednesday is my social day. I like to go out and do things for myself. Friday, I possibly could do some voluntary work. So I'll probably have to do it on Fridays. Oh, we must be in... There we go. Sorry, I went off because we're in Stevenage. It's supposed to be a real high-tech town, but it's got the worst internet I've ever found. That's why I don't live stream around Stevenage very often. So if we cut out a few times. Anyway, over there, you will see a large building directly in front of you, and then another one between the white ones gone now behind those trees the London diamond thing um, that's where I do my uh, English not my English maths so the balloons let me have a look what did you say how this about these balloons you explain the purpose right do you mean oh where's my face on oh, my face is gone this train <laughs> there it is. London King's Cross. do you mean we why do I do the YouTube channel well in North, well in Garden City. Bar, Park, or why do I put balloons like that? Cross. You'll have to be a little bit more precise with your question, if that's okay. I'm not going to leave those. I'm going to take those balloons with when I get off the train. Because they, they are beautiful. Who doesn't like balloons? And today, I have got a balloon hat. Oh, so you want to know why this channel is here, I guess. Well, there's a lot of balloon channels on the internet that are proper weird. You know, like ladies doing rather sexual things on balloons or innuendos, as that's the word, and men as well. And this is like a, it's not a family channel, what you call family friendly. So the idea here is, I would like my viewers to say, can you do this? And that's usually how things go. I get lots of ideas and I overdo I over what people say or I think of my own ideas. So it's just really in the day and age where everything's quite, oh, I don't know, goal orientated. There's no purpose to what I do. It's just a bit of fun. Remember like when you were a kid and you were allowed, or a child, and you were allowed to just do what you wanted to do as long as you weren't hurting anyone. And that's pretty much what the YouTube, this YouTube channel is about, is that just have a laugh. Don't take things seriously. I mean, like, I wouldn't pop these balloons on the train because it might upset somebody, but I'd love to pop them on. I'm not addicted to balloons. I don't even like balloons, to be fair. <laughs> you can watch my videos you can see I'm quite scared but initially I just started making videos for fun on YouTube and I thought well, and I noticed that the balloon videos were the ones that were being watched and nobody wants to really make a load of videos that nobody's watching so I made started doing balloon ones now you're fine do you know what that's the other thing as well we don't have any rules like in chat you can basically say what you want and I'm not one of these, they call snowflake people, you know, so you say what you want. If you don't like me and you come in the chat and tell me that, I'm fine with that because why should you not be allowed to say that you don't like me? So I don't believe there's any such thing as toxic comments. I'm very easy going. I mean, like that, that we had someone called Rubix in here um, spamming the channels saying that, they were going to marry me and they live in India and stuff and I could have just blocked them straight away for the spam but I didn't and in the end we got into a conversation oh, well, I, I think I might be a great person too but I don't know how great I am 
in the in in the whole scheme of things <laughs> in the world. Your intuition, I like that word. This train terminates at London King's Cross. I do talk a lot. We will be calling at Allendorf. <laughs> and talking London is a massive benefit. There you go, there's Nebworth. And the doors are closing. Let's go up the train a little bit. Oh. No, there's too many people up there. I think we're sitting near the smelly toilets for a bit more. I'll just face the other way now. Because I was travelling backwards and I don't like that. There we go. And you get to see out the window a bit. And that's my better side. Or is it that side? <laughs> Oh. Do you know where I should put these when I get to Hatfield? I might just let, see, I could just let them float along the floor, but I don't like littering. The weather. <laughs> yeah, the weather's unusual, isn't it? I was out last night, uh, about half past ten last night, buying my train ticket for today, and it was ch And today we've got cloudy skies, a little bit of sunshine. We're at the slow part now. You see how slow we're travelling. This looks so jerky, the video. Oh, we're off again. That person's walking their dog again at the same time as yesterday, or they have a friend with them. Should I just ask silly questions like, Oi, bruv, do you have chickens in Poland? <laughs> like proper chickens with legs and wings. I can't do a serious face ever. <laughs> oh. You know, chickens go... <laughs> chickens are everywhere. Do you, do you have any animals in that in your country that we don't have in the UK? You know, like, I know you probably don't have things like zebras and rhinoceroses and camels. Do you have camels in Poland? You, you must have some animals that are not native in the UK just try to think like we got badgers badgers you know like black and white animals oh we're going in the tunnel so the channels be going off yeah we might you might get disconnected it's dark look You can see two of me now, look. I think we're getting to the end of the tunnel. We there we go. You don't know. Do you not know what a badger is? Oh, I think there's another tunnel. Any sec. Right, we're back on. What a badger. <laughs> no, a badger's a mammal. It's like... A dog with very short legs and a long nose. You'd have to look that one up on Google, so I think that's probably, yeah. Let's think, um, what about beavers? Do you have beavers? Well I am in Wellim North. This train terminates at London King's Cross. You have a you have a badger Pokemon. <laughs> I, do you do Pokemon Go? Pokemon Go. I was doing Pokemon Go last night. I got the um, oh I've got, I don't remember the names, but I, we did a raid last night and got one of the. 
one of the new legends he's alright though. <sighs> I can't remember, even remember the name of it now. I have so many things to tell you. Like someone asked me what coffee I liked yesterday and I looked in my coffee jar to remind me and now I've forgotten what coffee it is I like. Do you think that's part of being a nice person, not remembering anything anybody tells you? Oh, it's really, do you know what? We're really high up here. Look at this. Look at that for a view. Right, well, right above. It's, I mean, that's not high now, but we were right up in the air. Oh, yeah. There's uh, the Zigazong or Zigazag in Pokemon. That kind of looks a bit like a badger, except it's not Ziggy Zaggy. It's that shape. It doesn't have zigzag, but it's black and white. And I think. Um... We will shortly be arriving. Oh. Welling Garden City. Yeah, Welling. Welling Garden City. It's not, it's actually Welling Garden City. There you go. It's the second city in the UK that was designated a garden city. Um, Letraf used to, well, it's still a garden city, but it's not got the same kind of beautifulness that it used to have, but everywhere you go, there are trees and stuff. Wow, look at the state of this building. I wonder what used to be in that. When I go up north, like, it's like that for miles, all de desolate, destroyed factories. Yeah, the grey fat squirrels. <laughs> I think the grey squirrels in the UK, um, they're not, they're not native to the UK. Um, our, well our squirrels were red, and the grey squirrels were imported. This train terminates at London so, King's Cross. We will okay. Be calling at okay. Okay. History show with me, isn't it? Wow, that bridge is a mess. We've got people working on it. Yeah. The aristocracy. Let's have a squirrel as a pet. What a wonderful creature that would be. Yeah, we've got quite a few. They call them invasive species, but I don't know about invading because they were brought here. Well, my next stop is... Hatfield. I thought I'd only stream for a little while today. I've been in 40 minutes. Oh, another little. Looks a bridge, not a tunnel. Not, not a tunnel. We're on the slow one. It's gone. Trains on the left, trains on the right, trains above us and trains below us. Someone's lost their football. So those Hatfields must be quite close to London. I should get my train ticket out. So when I stop, I haven't got a hunt for it. Let's see if I can find it. I'm really glad people watch the stream because it makes my journey go by so much quicker. That is my ticket. Does anyone like to see my train ticket? Well, that is no good, is it, Mr. Tango Baldy? There we go. Can we do it that way? No. Oh, there we go. We got it. 10th of January, 2000. I surely do. I watched... I watched... Because we have Pennywise. 
拍。Sometimes Pennywise is in the chat channel, and it was through him. Yeah, Georgie, Georgie, take the balloon. Take it now. I will feed on your. Is it? I feed on your flesh. Is I feed on your soul, as I feed on your flesh. Something like that. I've forgotten it now. Yeah, I found it quite a strange movie to watch. But I don't, I'm not sure if I watched the very original one. I knew I was in for a bad time when um, the, the lad reached in for his balloon and the clown like tore his arm off and I thought this is like proper 80s horror. I, did, I have downloaded the book, a PDF version of Stephen King It, and I've skimmed through it and I didn't really like what I was reading in it. I found it to be a bit weird. And there's enough weirdness in my life without reading his story. <laughs> The old one. So what, the old movie, would you say, is better? I think I could watch the movie because that's... You don't get quite so engrossed in a movie. You know, whereas a book, it's something that's going to last you a good few days. And, yeah, I have a very good imagination. I'm going to ask the ticket man if I can keep my ticket. Oh, could I keep my ticket, please? Do you want to sit? All right, thank you. Got to keep my ticket for the tax man. I probably spoke about it before, but I won't talk about it again. I am so looking forward to going to, to um, my training today. Well, it's not training, my college. I call it college, it's a private college thing. College, college. Because I want to make myself a cup of tea. Everybody loves tea. Let's put you right up in the sky. You. That's weird. Hang on. Right, are you saying yuck to a cup of tea? Or are you saying yuck to... Um, what do you call it? To Pennywise. <laughs> Georgie! <laughs> oh, coffee, yeah. I do like my coffee. Georgie, take the balloons. <laughs> I've, do you know what? I'm, I'm wondering if I'm late again today. I'm waiting, there's no traffic at all, but it's not saying cross. Oh, now it's saying cross, but that doesn't mean it's safe in this country. Hang on, I've missed what you said there. Yank. I don't know what yank means. <laughs> oh, well, you've... I found walking down this way is better. We did this way before, didn't we? It's a bit dis disconcerting walking past Hatfield Job Centre. I don't know if that's the second one they've got. But when I've got this camera out like this and I've got people looking at me, I feel a little, a little uncomfortable. Right, let's lose the balloons. There they go. Bye-bye balloons. Oh, they're just going to go straight in the dustbin, look. They can't go in the dustbin. I will have to go and get them now. I want them to go down the road. You? Right, that's it. I'm having them back. If they want to go and get stuck in a bush, that's not acceptable. I've, I've recovered them. I'm going to put them on the grass area outside. Okay, here we are. Hatfield Job Centre. 
I think if I had a 50 million amp hour battery, you lot would watch me 24 hours a day. Now, where could I put these balloons so that they, when I, oh, see if they're there when I come out. That shop's empty. I should have brought some string with me because all these shops down here are like abandoned and, and all ugly and messy. And I could have put um, them down here, couldn't I? If I walk down this bit, how about I hide them or just leave them on the grass down here? What do you think? Pop them on there for a bit and see whether they, they, they won't be there when I come back, will they? Oh, hang on. What about those bollards? I've returned the camera. It's got someone walking towards me, but I might just face into the wall, can't I? These door handles might do it. Have we got any way? If there's no one working in there, there we go, look. Let's just pop them. That is the perfect place for them. Do you think they will be there when I finish my course later today? If they are, I will get a photograph of them. In fact, I'll take one now and put it on my YouTube channel for later. So I am going to end my stream now because I have been streaming for nearly 50 minutes and I'm at... I'll show you where I will be. I will be sitting up there. Can you see that two let side? I'm going to walk right up to it. You can see where I go. I will be sitting. We've got KSP solicitors up there. And then you've got a to let sign. And then you have a window, and I will be sitting al along behind this brick piece here. I'm sure that bit of information has totally thrilled you and made your day so much better than you could ever imagine. So I am going to go now and learn some English, and I will speak to you again later what i might possibly do if you're very lucky is start streaming later on when my friend comes around from home i think that's what i shall do about if he t if he doesn't turn up or he does about half past six this evening so that'll be half past seven in poland so thank you mwah, mwah, mwah. lots of loves from tango baldy and i will see you again very soon bye Fly, fly. <laughs> Love it.